Okay, um, hi everyone, my name is Pete Collins. I'm here to take you through um, the SBA, Scenario Based Assessments for NEBOSH. Um, over the next few videos, this is a very short introduction video. Over the next few videos, I will be uploading um, tips and techniques of how to get you through the NEBOSH NG1 Open Book exam or now newly commonly known as the Scenario Based Assessment. Um, over the next few videos, we're gonna look at how we structure the day, how we make sure we get ourselves prepared, the best time and allocation for our resources. Some of you might be against the clock in terms of you'll do your submission, you'll do your program with your learning provider, and then you'll have maybe a week or some people might have a few days um, in order to get you ready for that scenario-based assessment. So this is a short introduction to the system and to the uh, what you're expected to face. Um, and over the next few videos, I'm gonna be uploading to get you through this program. Um, the idea effectively is that we take it very seriously. Do not think that it's open book and the aspect of, oh, it's okay, I'll be able to sort of reference things. Um, so here's my break quickly on the first ever video of Scales of Safety um, to get you through this SBA, this scenario-based assessment. Tip number one is read the guidance. Be aware that the guidance is there for you. You are not gonna get through it unless you know and do your research, so read the guidance. Nebosh also release a technical learner guide as well. Make sure you go and have a look at that too. Um, tip number two is practice questions and answers. Dissect your questions, have a look at what they're using. What are the command words that are being used? You've got to try and understand that they want you to apply it, not just generically tell them stuff. So, you know, if, if you've got a question on the act and it talks about maybe what were the breaches of section two, um, within the accident, within the scenario, and you just start banging out question two, uh, at section two, you're not gonna score marks because they wanted you to apply it to the accident in the scenario. So the scenario there is given as a key for you to be able to dissect and apply your knowledge to it, that you've got to demonstrate the understanding of what you're saying. And they use these things in the guidance. The first one they use is, uh, it's PEE, -E, the principle they're using here. It's point evidence explanation. You stick to that method throughout the whole process of the question answer technique. There's a better chance there you're gonna higher, score higher marks. Um, they've changed this, the principle of it slightly. You, you get apparently a mark for each, a mark for point, a mark for evidence, and a mark for explanation. So this is something that you should take very seriously and make sure you've got allocated time across your day. It's a 24 hour exam. The NG1 is designed for you to, as I said, read a scenario, understand it, and apply it um, to the questions that are being asked. Make sure that whatever learning provider you are with, that you are actually doing the practice question and answers with them. Um, when I learn with, with my learners, I will tend to cover a topic and then we'll go into the question and answer technique after for that topic. So it's applying it as we're moving through it. Um, and then also investing time into your studies yourself. You're not just gonna be able to just, you know, uh, pick up the book on the day and know what you're talking about. You're gonna have to spend that time learning. Now your learning provider will give you a set time. Um, you'll be doing so many hours with them, but Nebosh are also recommending you do at least 20 hours self-study for yourselves as well. Now everyone's got their own learning technique and learning methods and it's just making sure that you feel you are prepared for it. Um, so that's another technique there that we need to understand. Make sure that you are prepared for your day. Another one would, for me really is about knowing that when you download the principle and how to navigate the platform. So you'll get a link from Nebosh, from your learning provider when they register you. That link will then allow you to access the platform, change your password, and then start familiarizing yourself with that platform. Um, again, Nebosh give us YouTube videos for this as well. Um, these videos are, again, you can see them on the screen now. Um, as you go down, they give you top tips. So if you go into Nebosh website, digital assessments, and then it's certificate, and then resources to help you prepare. So as you got, scroll down here, these videos are gonna help you, again, navigate it, access it, upload, download, all these types of things as well. So they're very, very, very helpful um, on the, you know, making sure that you're prepared for this. Um, Again, you can go and have a look at those in your own time. So one thing that I've noticed that when you download the scenario-based assessment, it comes in a PDF format, which I would prefer all my learners to go and break it. 
Some, some can, some can't, but there's something called small PDF online. Uh, you can literally go to small PDF. I've got it saved and pinned here. Uh, this is just a very basic converter. You can then download it to your desktop from the Nebosh website and then convert that into Word. That'll be very, very important as we move through these videos to give you a good insight around how we answer questions and help you navigate that uh, a lot easier. Um, once you've done that, I always say as well, prepare yourself for the day in terms of your ergonomics in your desk and your display screen equipment. Having a second screen will be very, very helpful for you. Um, making sure that you're free of distractions, that you allocate that time in the day because you won't be able to download it until 11 a.m. So, you know, get yourself up in the morning, get all your stuff prepared. Um, you want to make sure that you have access to the HSE website as well because you will have to go and do a bit of R&D maybe on the day. Um, for the scenario. So that's one thing that you want to really make sure you have got a strong connection, you've got lots of space and time on your hands and you commit 100% to the day. And I've known learners as well to take the day off before in order to prepare for this. Um, so this is going to be the insight of getting you ready for that. Now, some of the techniques that are applied along the way as well, I've got a top tips document I refer to uh, for my learners. So Again, when you get it, don't start jumping into questions. Have a look at the scenario. Potentially go and have a look at some different information from the website, the HSC website, to help you prepare. Um, another thing for me as well is that I use a, a scenario method. Once I've downloaded the product, and I'll give you a quick insight to a, um, another video, we'll probably cover this better, but this is just talking you through it really. Highlight, using the word, um, the, there's, if you highlight the scenario in Word, right click and then choose read aloud, this is going to help you um, listen to it. So it will read it back to you. So take the time in listening to it and really picture it in your head. Where are you? What, the, what situation of Nebosh put you in for your safety uh, scenario based assessment? Um, I'd also strongly recommend as well that once you've listened to it, go and listen to it again. And then once you understand the scenario that you're in, go and have a look at the questions. Rank them in order of difficulty. Sometimes you might get a question you think, right, well, I can't do that just yet. I'll leave that to the end. Rank them in order of difficulty. OK. Um, and then I'd also, once you've got that, start to then tackle your questions. But that will be in a separate video. So there you go. There's some of my quick off the bat top tips to get you through the scenario based assessment. There'll be more videos coming.